supposed to be the finest killer in this here half of the world. Interesting facts about famous people. Robert Mitchum, Western Movie Roles. Today, let's take a look at a list of Western movies made by Robert Mitchum. These Westerns include starring, supporting and cameo appearances. Over the years, Robert Mitchum is known for roles in Western movies. This list is a variety of his movies, like El Dorado, Dead Man and many more. If you like this video and want to see my other videos, take a look at my channel. The link is in the description. Apologies up front for any mispronunciations of names. Now let's get started. Border Patrol, 1942. Directed by Leslie Salander. Cast, William Boyd, Robert Mitchum, George Reeves, Andy Clyde, Jay Kirby. Border Patrol is a Western film starring William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong's trusty sidekicks are California Carlson and the young cowpoke Johnny. Other players destined for long film careers were also featured. Duncan Ronaldo plays the Mexican commandant. Robert Mitchum plays Quinn, one of the villains, and George Reeves plays Don Enrique Perez, an accented Mexican captive working in the bad guy's silver mine. The only female in the film is Claudia Drake. The Lone Star Trail, 1943, directed by Ray Taylor. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Johnny Mac Brown, Tex Ritter, a Western film. The supporting cast features Fuzzy Knight and Jennifer Holt, and in a small role as a villain, Robert Mitchum. Nevada, 1944, directed by Edward Kelly, cast Robert Mitchum, and Jeffries, Nancy Gates, a Western movie starring a 27-year-old Robert Mitchum with Anne Jeffries, Gwyn, Big Boy Williams, and Richard Martin in supporting roles. Mitchum is billed with introducing Bob Mitchum as Jim Lacey at the film's beginning, although this was not Mitchum's first movie. Richard Martin also played sidekick Cheeto Rafferty in 30 other Western movies, most of which starred screen cowboy Tim Holt, who had joined the service during World War II when Nevada was produced. Martin played this same character set in different times, both contemporary and in the Old West. This version is a remake of a 1927 movie starring Gary Cooper, Thelma Todd and William Powell. This is the only time when Cooper and Mitchum played the same role in different versions of a story. West of the Pecos, 1945, directed by Edward Kelly, Cast, Robert Mitchum, Barbara Hale, Bill Williams. Heading west for his health, Colonel Lambeth takes his daughter Rill along. Lost in the desert, they are saved by Pecos and Chito. The Colonel hires the two and the Lambeths soon find themselves mixed up in Pecos trouble. Pecos has killed Sortel's brother and Sortel, as head of the vigilantes, is after him. Pursued, 1947. Directed by Raoul Walsh. Cast, Teresa Wright, Robert Mitchum, Judith Anderson. Raised by a foster family, Jeb, Robert Mitchum, is an orphan who remained tormented by the traumatic murder of his parents when he was a child. He is treated well by his foster mother, Mrs. Cullum, Judith Anderson, and her daughter, Thor, Teresa Wright. But he and foster brother Adam, John Rodney, have a tense relationship. When Jeb is shot at while riding his horse, he blames Adam. But Mrs. Callum knows in fact it's another member of the Callum clan who is out to get him. I wouldn't try that if I were you, Brad. Blood on the Moon, 1948, directed by Robert Wise. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Barbara Bell Geddes, Robert Preston. Down and out cowhand, Jim Gary, Robert Mitchum, is asked by his old friend Tate Rilling, Robert Preston, to help mediate a cattle dispute. When Gary arrives, however, it soon becomes clear that Riling has not been entirely honest. Gary uncovers Riling's plot to cheat local rancher, 
John Lufton, Tom Tully, out of a fortune. When Lufton's daughter, Amy, Barbara Bell Geddes, gets involved, Gary must choose between his old loyalties and what he knows to be right. Rachel and the Stranger, 1948, directed by Norman Foster. Cast, Loretta Young, William Holden, Robert Mitchum. Like right In the Ohio wilderness during pioneer times, widower David Harvey, William Holden, wants a wife to help rear his young son, Gary Gray. He purchases indentured servant, Rachel, Loretta Young, for $18, and they are soon wed. Unsurprisingly, the three don't make a happy family. Harvey only views the marriage as a convenience, while his son resents his new mother. But when Harvey's friend, Robert Mitchum, takes a liking to his new wife, he realises he might feel something for Rachel after all. The Red Pony, 1949, directed by Lewis Milestone, cast Myrna Loy, Robert Mitchum, Peter Miles. In the Salinas Valley of California, young Tom Tiflin, Peter Miles, lives on his family ranch with his parents, Fred, Shepard Strudwick and Alice, Myrna Loy, who are constantly at odds, and with his rambling grandfather, Louis Calhoun. Capturing Tom's admiration, however, is the hired ranch hand. Billy Buck, Robert Mitchum, a venerable horse expert. When his father gives him a pony as a gift, Tom learns the importance of responsibility, but also has to face the pain of loss. The Lusty Men, 1952, directed by Nicholas Ray. Cast, Susan Haywood, Robert Mitchum, Arthur Kennedy. In the American West of the 1950s, Talented rodeo rider Jeff McLeod, Robert Mitchum, quits after an injury. Returning to his hometown, he gets a job on a ranch. He strikes up a friendship with Wes, Arthur Kennedy, a fellow ranch hand who dreams of being a rodeo rider. Wes talks Jeff into training him and joins the rodeo circuit with the reluctant approval of his wife, Susan Haywood. But when the two men start to disagree, Jeff returns to the circuit himself. Track of the Cat, 1954, directed by William A. Wellman. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Teresa Wright, Tab Hunter. In a snowbound homestead in Northern California, the Bridges family lives in continuous squalor. Brothers Kurt, Robert Mitchum, and Harold, Tab Hunter, fight over the attentions of their beautiful neighbor, Gwen, Diana Lynn. While the boy's boozing father, Philip Tung, suffers under the abuse of their religious-minded mother, Balula Bondi. The family dysfunction only intensifies when a panther kills Curtis's timid brother. Arthur, William Hopper, and Kurt set out to slay the animal. River of No Return, 1954, directed by Otto Preminger. Cast Robert Mitchum, Marilyn Monroe, Rory Calhoun. After serving a prison sentence, farmer Matt Calder, Robert Mitchum, returns to his 19th century Pacific Northwest gold rush town and retrieves his adolescent son, Mark, Tommy Rettig. Meanwhile, good-hearted barroom singer Kay, Marilyn Monroe, is heading downriver with her boyfriend, Harry, Rory Calhoun, to explore a potential gold claim. When their raft sinks, Harry robs Matt of his gun and horse to continue without Kay on land, sailing downriver toward the claim. The trio plan their revenge. Man with the Gun, 1955. Directed by Richard Wilson. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Jane Sterling, Karen Sharp. Sheridan City is out of control. The citizens are corrupt. The saloon is an immoral indulgence. And gunmen and greedy opportunists come and go as they please. With the town's lawman, Henry Hull, incapable of maintaining order, the town council brings in a hired gun, Clint Tollinger, Robert Mitchum, who has business of his own with the saloon madam, Jan Sterling. 
Tollinger sets about proving his reputation as a town tamer through his signature approach, eradicating violence with violence. Bandito, 1956. Directed by Richard Fleischer. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Ursula Thies, Zachary Scott. An American arms dealer, Wilson, Robert Mitchum, journeys south of the border during the Mexican Revolution and immediately sparks trouble when he provokes federal troops. His actions impress the revolutionaries whom he joins forces with, and Wilson convinces his new allies to go after a rival arms dealer named Kennedy, Zachary Scott. When Wilson falls for Kennedy's wife, Lisa, Ursula Thies, and the revolutionaries eventually turn on him, the gunrunner finds himself in the line of fire. The Wonderful Country, 1959, directed by Robert Parrish, cast Robert Mitchum, Julie London, Gary Merrill. Gunman Martin Brady, Robert Mitchum, is an American exiled in Mexico for the revenge killing of his father's assassin, Brady, a henchman of the ruthless Castro crime family, travels across the border to Texas to negotiate the sale of black market rifles. When a broken leg delays Brady's return to Mexico, U.S. Army Major Colton, Gary Merrill, and Texas Ranger Captain Rocco, Albert Decker, attempt to enlist Brady as a sharpshooter in their war against the Apaches. The Sundowners, 1960. Directed by Fred Zinnemann. Cast, Deborah Kerr, Robert Mitchum, Peter Ustinov. In 1920s Australia, Paddy Carmody, Robert Mitchum, is a roaming Irish shepherder who loves his nomadic lifestyle. His wife, Ida, Deborah Kerr, and young son, Sean, Michael Anderson Jr., don't share his wanderlust, and family tensions come to a head after Ida persuades Paddy to settle down with a steady job. Meanwhile, the family's boarder, Peter Ustinov, has to contend with the rigours of outback life and the attentions of a hotel keeper, Glynis Johns, looking to land a husband. El Dorado, 1966, directed by Howard Hawks, cast John Wayne, James Kahn, Robert Mitchum. Right El Dorado is about a gunfighter who comes to the aid of an old friend a drunken sheriff struggling to defend a rancher and his family against another rancher trying to steal their water. The gunfighter and drunken sheriff are helped by an aging Indian fighter and a young gambler. The supporting cast includes James Kahn as the young gambler, Charlotte Holt, Paul Fix, Arthur Honeycutt, Michael Carey and Christopher George. El Dorado was filmed on location in Tucson, Arizona and Kanab, Utah and was shot in Technicolor. The paintings in the credits are by Olaf Wakehorst, who plays Swede Larsen in the film. The musical score was composed by Nelson Riddle. The Way West, 1967, directed by Andrew V. McLaughlin. Cast, Kirk Douglas, Robert Mitchum, Richard Widmark. In search of greener pastures, Senator William J. Tadlock, Kirk Douglas, heads west with scores of settlers following behind. Tadlock has hired an experienced no, scout, Big Summers, Robert Mitchum, to accompany the caravan on the way from Missouri to Oregon, but hazards along the trail, and Tadlock's increasing megalomania threaten to break up the expedition. Their problems get bigger when one of the pilgrims accidentally kills the son of a Sioux chief. Five Card Stud, 1968. Directed by Henry Hathaway. Cast, Dean Martin, Roddy McDowell, and Robert Mitchell. Based on a novel by Ray Goulden, written by Marguerite between. Roberts, who also wrote the screenplay for True Grit for Hathaway the following year. The players in an ongoing poker game are being mysteriously killed off one by one.
The Good Guys and the Bad Guys, 1969, directed by Bert Kennedy. Cast, Robert Mitchum, George Kennedy, David Carradine. Older lawman, Marshall Flagg, Robert Mitchum, is struggling to transition from the Old West to the more modernised one. So much so that Major Wilker, Martin Balsam, forces him into retirement. Not one to go away easily, Flagg quickly fixates on his old nemesis, McKay, George Kennedy, formerly believed to be dead, who is now back in town and up to no good. But Flagg soon discovers that McKay might be his greatest ally in the fight to prove that the old-timers aren't useless in the New West. Villa Rides, 1968, directed by Buzz Kulik. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Charles Bronson, Yul Brynner. I wouldn't give you a... a film starring Yul Brynner in Toupee, in the title role, a... and Robert Mitchum, an American adventurer and pilot of fortune. The supporting cast includes Charles Bronson as Fero, Herbert Lom as Hooter, no and Alex Knox as Madero. Sam Peckingpaw wrote the original script and was set to direct but Brunner didn't like his depiction of Villa as cruel and had Robert Town rewrite the script and sought another director. The screenplay is based on the biography of William Douglas Lansford. Young Billy Young, 1969. Directed by Bert Kennedy. Cast, Robert Mitchum, Angie Dickinson, Robert Walker. Fleeing the scene of a gruesome gunfight in Mexico, Billy Young, Robert Walker, arrives in the small town of Lordsburg, where he is promptly deputised by local sheriff, Ben Kane, Robert Mitchum. Kane takes the troubled young man under his wing, hoping to reform his lawless ways. As the bond between the two men grows stronger, Kane recruits Young for a particular personal assignment to help bring to justice Frank Boone, John Anderson, a vicious outlaw responsible for the death of his son. You figure I'll have much use for him? Well, I never. No, ma'am, I don't guess you have. Oh, you had no call to name out like that? You got a fixed goal. The Wrath of God, 1972. Directed by Ralph Nelson. Cast, Rita Hayworth, Robert Mitchum, Frank Langella. An offbeat western genre film, filmed in Mexico. Set in the 1920s, several foreigners, held by a South American military group, are offered possible freedom if they accept to topple a local crazed military leader. Dead Man, 1995. Directed by Jim Jamush. Cast, Johnny Depp, Steve Buscemi, <laughs> John Hurt and Robert Mitchum. Starring Johnny Depp, Gary Farmer, Billy Bob Thornton, Iggy Pop, Crispin Glover, John Hurt, Michael Wincott, Lance Hendrickson, Gabrielle Byrne and Robert Mitchum. The film includes twisted and surreal elements of the Western genre. The film is shot entirely in black and white. Neil Young composed the guitar seep soundtrack with portions he improvised while watching the movie footage. Some consider it the ultimate postmodern western. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. They help me a lot. Also hit the notification button to get my new videos. Bye for now.